In this video, we're going to continue topic 2.9, the quotient rule. In example three, we have some examples of things that look like quotient rules, but that it probably is better to actually rewrite them and um, just differentiate them with what we with the power rule or some other rules that we have, because it'd be more cumbersome to do the quotient rule. So looking at A here, it looks like a quotient rule, but I noticed that there's no variable in the denominator. So I could just rewrite that as one sixth x squared plus, and then it would be 3 sixths x. And then I could, when I go ahead and I take that derivative, um, remember my 2 goes in front, so I would end up with 2 sixths x plus 3 sixths. And then when I go to simplify that, it would be 1 third x plus 1 half. Okay. Then looking at B, um, the first thing I would probably do to rewrite this is I would probably distribute that 3n. So it's going to take me a couple of rewrite steps. I'm just going to rewrite underneath. So negative 9x plus 6x squared over 7x. Then I'm going to choose to split that into two fractions. So negative 9x over 7x. Those two fractions will have that same common denominator of 7x, so 6x squared over 7x. And again, before I take the derivative, I'm going to simplify a little bit more. I know these x's will cancel, and that x will go into this one. So I rewrite it again as y equals negative 9 over 7, because my x's cancel plus 6 over 7x. Now I am finally ready to take my derivative. So y prime equals, I know the derivative of any number, even though my number looks like nine, negative 9 sevenths, is 0. And then my derivative of 6 sevenths x would just be 6 sevenths. So overall, my final derivative would just be 6 sevenths.